Hello, Hello there. there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. I'm Travis. And we are late to the party. And it is time for Travis to bring us another trailer. A Better retro late reaction, if you will. Better late than never, I always say. That's usually what a lot of people say. Yeah. We've yeah. been saying it's a good it for... It's a good title. We should use it. Travis. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Travis. Well, we got another episode here. I have picked out a trailer that these two do not know. We're going to watch it. And uh, we'll see what you guys think. Now, the one I have picked out for today is a um, classic sci-fi film, if you would Tron? Say. Perhaps, maybe. He <laughs> uh, really likes Tron. Uh, Tron. All-time favorite. Like, this is a really, really good one, and it's really quotable. And as a kid, there were some parts that I was like, ooh, they talk about Playboy. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. So, you guys ready? Don't, yes. don't even try to okay. pretend like all you right. know. Just, fine, just, fine. just watch. Enjoy. The anticipation is killing me. Well, let's you know, it's, 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 you know, PG. PG. Ah, come on. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, look at Lance, guess. And I'm wearing a Lance. Lance. You really are leaving yeah. here, aren't you? It's Alex Rogan, girl. Come on. Yes, I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt, name. too. I love the music, by the way, to this film. Get your chance. Craig Sathan. When it comes. Amazing. You gotta grab it with both hands. <laughs> it started with a game. See, this one is one of those movies that I wouldn't mind like a sequel to or like a reboot. We'll get into that. Yeah. Sure. I almost wore my last Starfighter shirt too. Centauri is the name. We have to talk about a matter of utmost importance. Step into my office. I've seen him come and I've seen him go, but you're the best, my boy. Light years ahead of the competition. Man. That's why I'm not gonna tell Alex you. Find okay. his dream. Oh dear. Hey, Bumpy! 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 Hey, and his spies. You were recruited mm -hmm. by the Star League to defend the frontier, frontier against Sir and the Codon Armada. <laughs> of all the life forms, on all the planets, in all the galaxies. Oh my god! <laughs> well, Wheaton's in this movie too. Wheaton? Yeah. Hey, Max. One. Catherine Mary Stewart? Alex Rogan, my boy. Alex? Hey, Max. Alex Rogan. Say it. Alex? Hey, Max. Hey, Max. He's the best starfighter. Oh. Oh, best part of the freaking score. Who's ever imagined traveling beyond the stars? Maybe there is a starfighter left. I love you, Alex Rogan. <laughs> comes an unforgettable story. That's one of my of favorite lines it. ever. Like, in any movie. It's so funny. The last Starfighter. So, oh, man. you guys have seen it? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Lance Guest, Catherine Mary Stewart, Dan O'Herlihy, which is funny because he goes blackface to play a shelled black alien but he's in Robocop yes he's, uh, I think it's Ro Robocop 2 I don't remember but either way he's a white old man and he, he play basically he's he's Alex's best friend and he's hilarious and I love his <laughs> <laughs> that I've never even tried that in the that last noise? like 20 years I'll have everything figured out by the time we get to the frontier, the, to frontier. what's that wee, noise wee, wee, wee. The frontier. The frontier. <laughs> she laughed so hard during that part. That's so we all figured out by the time we reached the frontier. And then Craig Sathan as the freaking composer. Um, I love it. It's one of my I, favorite soundtracks of this. All time. Yeah, Absolutely. this soundtrack, like the music, is very compatible. Like compare, you could compare it to being one of the greats as far as like sci-fi movies goes, mm -hmm. and a theme that you can be like, oh, that is the last Starfighter. Yeah, like, it really stands out on its own. Right, like like E.T. and like, it's really John up there. John Williams level. Yeah, John, definitely. And that's the thing too, is like insight into The Last Starfighter, is The Last Starfighter was one of the few movies at the time at their budget to be able to assemble 
a full orchestral score because people weren't doing that at the time. A lot of them were going with like the symphonics and the computer generated music, mm -hmm. where John Williams was still doing the full score with his orchestra, and Craig Safan ended up coming in and doing one as well. And that's what kind of set it apart. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, they did try and push the boundaries in terms of computer generated imagery, mm -hmm. um, which they even did stuff for Star Wars. They rendered X Wings and stuff for him to see if that was the way they wanted to go. But instead, they ended up going with the, the models, which to me is the better way to go. But they weren't there yet, but they had their head far ahead of the game at yes. that time. So obviously, yes, being fans of the sci-fi genre as far as like Star Wars and whatnot, uh, I would definitely, like if I were somebody in a theater and I was sitting there waiting for the movie to pass and then the trailer came on, I'd be like, oh, what's this? Like I would definitely go see this movie. Yeah. And this is one, like Vanessa was saying, absolutely would love a reboot goal for yeah. you can bring back lance guest and he could be alex rogan just the way luke skywalker is in star wars don't do it the same way though have it that he's been training the starfighters that he has been essentially the elite starfighter for rylos and the kodan armada may be destroyed but zur is still out there because he escaped so Zer has followers. They're basically like a cultist re regime. Yeah, like they could totally. Well, okay, this would be kind of a weird like thing. They could totally bring the the ideas of the what they did with the following movie, right? Like the following show, right? And with his followers, and then they have to go after them. I don't. I, I feel like they could. do There's something. a lot that could be done. Yes. Well, that's especially with our generation, we don't like reboots. We right. like to see where our characters we fell in love with, what they're doing 20 years later. Build on top of it. Mm -hmm. right. Keep it going, especially when the actors are still around. Now, unfortunately, Dan O'Hurley, he's no longer around, but you do have Lance Guest, and you can, by all means, bring back somebody to play uh, Centauri. Actually, Dan O'Hurley, he was, I think that was Centauri, not Grig. Doesn't matter, either way. Because um, <laughs> he passed away not too long after. He was actually sick during, during this filming. Um, but yeah, that was Centauri, I believe. Uh, either way, what I would definitely love to see is let's do something with it. I know for a while they were talking about making a sequel with like bringing it to Vegas and like the video game was going to be in Vegas and people were going to end up doing a contest there to get into it. See but what then that, it fizzled out in like yeah, 2000s. I'm glad that that kind of didn't happen. I wouldn't want it to be because one of the great things I love about The Last Starfighter is that this kid is from nowhere. Like, yeah. This is nothing. Tatooine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is It is a retread of the Star hmm, Wars, essentially, but, but either way. I, and, like, one of the things, too, is that I, like, I want it to be big, but at the same time be personal. Like, yeah. I don't want it to go, like, the way they did with Independence Day Resurgence. Yeah, and that's they true. To, they tried to make it bigger mm. with the ice spear thing. That there's... I still haven't seen it. Don't. Yes, don't. <laughs> and then, you know what? That brings up a valid point to why you really shouldn't try and build on to something. But then again, I mean, uh, there was a lot like of... Like, never... Uh, like, I don't... Like, maybe they can do a re... Like, a, a rebuke, like the way you said. But right. they don't have to come to Earth, like, at all. Like, they could stay in Ryloth. Yeah, know? they could stay in Ryloth and do it, do it there. Because he's there with Maggie. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. why well, not? What do you guys think? Would Maybe there be a cool Ryloth little sequel to it? Well, Have you seen this film before? It. What do you guys think of it? Some people think it's dumb. Some people think it's amazing. We just happen to be on the spectrum of amazing. But yes. either way, we'd love to hear the comments. You can tell us down below. If you have anything else you want us to do a reaction to for old school trailers, tell this guy right here. Put it down he those is, comments. I'll yeah, pick. He's the arbiter of this whole better late than never segment so um you guys thank you so much you can like and you can subscribe you can do the thing on our facebook twitter tumblr instagram service all the social networking gin joints you know where they are kicking at the party at patreon fuel the party gets us where we need to go thank you guys so much and as always now it's time to say goodbye starlight star bright many of the will welcome me for